Right, um, Mr. Gutu. Yes. Uh, I can see there are some six uh, behind you. What's going on here? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Robert. Uh, as you can see, maybe let me start by introducing uh, the membership of the party uh, yeah. uh, with me here. Uh, as the viewers might know, I'm Robert Gutu. I'm the MDCT uh, Vice President. I'm standing in for the MDCT President, Honorable uh, Dr. Dr. Zani Kupe. Unavailable today because he's away in Nawayo. And uh, with me here, I'll just introduce maybe the two senior leaders and uh, the members of the youth. I don't want to introduce them by name. To my extreme left, uh, I've got Comrade Dixon Nikadzino, popularly known as Comrade Mao, our Secretary General, Secretary General of the MDCT. And uh, to my immediate left, and in, uh, am I uh, Comrade Clara Zengerere? She is uh, Panganai, she is the chairperson of MDCT, Harare Province. And with me here as well are members of the Harare Province executive of the MDCT. The young lady here, youth. Young lady there, youth, youth, youth. <laughs> so I just want listeners to maybe get an opportunity to get to know that we as a political party uh, we were, we were very deeply touched by the devastation uh, that was caused by cyclone Irai that happened uh, just over two weeks ago uh, causing untold devastation in uh, parts of Manikaland in particular Ngangu in uh, Chimanimani and Chipinge Parts of, uh, of um, uh, Mashonaland uh, South and uh, Mashonaland East, I understand, and also parts of Mashingo in Ipikita and Gutu. And I also recently discovered that uh, the cyclone also destroyed some uh, houses in the province of, uh, of Matabele in South. But I don't know why you guys in the media didn't pick that up the devastation that was caused by the cyclone in, uh, in Mat South. So, as a party, we our best is one of our pillars uh, on uh, the benchmark of solidarity, of love, uh, of peace, of uh, you know humility, empathy. We were deeply touched by what happened uh, in our country, and uh, let me also take this opportunity to pass on behalf of the entire leadership of the party, and indeed the whole party as such, our deepest uh, condolences to the families of uh, the victims of. Uh, Cyclone Irai, all the people, I understand I was just watching TV a few minutes ago, that more than 700 people might have died in Zimbabwe alone, and some bodies uh, are still missing. So we are deeply touched by that, and would like to extend our, our condolences to the bereaved families, indeed, uh, to the whole uh, nation, to the entire nation of Zimbabwe. So we managed to come up with uh, just a few items uh, and uh, as a political party, and this we want to present it uh, as uh, our modest donation to the victims of Cyclone uh, Idai. And uh, as you can see here, the various items, uh, the packed the clothes for women, clothes for youth, for children, clothes for, for men, and uh, kitchen utensils, and the various other commodities. Like I said, it's our humble and small donation to the victims of uh, Cyclone Idai, because we believe that as a party uh, that uh, is a social democratic party, we must show empathy with our fellow citizens, and uh, this is exactly why we saw it fit uh, to do what we are doing. I don't know whether you want us, my Zengerere, to open uh, maybe one, because uh, your viewers might think, but we drink one There are definitely some goods there. And if maybe she can open one. But, yes, uh, if yes. you could, there are also some reports that uh, mm -hmm. some senior members of certain political parties, mm -hmm. um, be it councillors, um, members of parliament, they are taking advantage of these donations, taking them for their own use. What mechanisms do you think should be put in place by the people that are receiving these goods to make sure that they receive, they, they are delivered to the point of need? 
Yeah, in fact, Robert, it's actually very unfortunate for anyone for that matter, be it a politician or or, or anyone, be, be you a local politician in the neighborhood or a national politician or a business person, whoever you are. I mean, for as long as you have a human heart, it is actually an abomination for anyone to, to do what uh, you, you say people are doing because that cyclone has caused untold suffering. I, in my entire life, I've never come across that kind of uh, natural disaster in our motherland in Zimbabwe. It was shocking, the devastation that we saw on TV. It's up to now, it's, I, I'm traumatized. I've never seen anything like that. And I understand that entire parts of uh, Chimani Mani, like Ngangu Township, has been decimated. It has literally been flattened. I was just uh, watching a few images a few minutes ago of uh, what used to be Ngangu Township. And it's actually very unfortunate for anyone. And if one is a politician and you do that, then you don't deserve to be a leader. If you are a parliamentarian and you don't do that, you don't deserve to be anywhere near the August House. For God's sake, parliamentarians are referred to as honorable members of parliament. You cannot be referred to as an honorable member of parliament who goes about looting or misappropriating uh, goods that have been donated uh, to, to victims of, uh, of Cyclone Idai or, or any other victims uh, for that matter. Mm. There might be some Zimbabweans and some members of your political party that are also watching right now. What's your message to them regarding the donations? Our message really is uh, to the entire nation of Zimbabwe. In fact, to the entire humanity, to, to, to the world, you know, everyone who is a human being. You know, when these things happened, no one budgeted for Cyclone Idai. When we were watching, uh, getting the warnings from the Meteorological Services Department, I don't think there's any one of us who really appreciated that Cyclone Idai was going to come with that level of devastation, destruction of human life, destruction of, uh, of uh, you know, infrastructure, I understand virtually all bridges in uh, Chimani Mani district have been, have been destroyed. And I mean, that's, from, that's, that's so sad. So our message really is to say to Zimbabweans in particular, be they Zimbabweans in the country or in the diaspora, let us come together as one nation, do whatever we can to help our compatriots. As I have said, kune unonzi unu, uvuntu, kana pachinge paita namu, mumu wako achiru wa awiru wane namu. So my appeal really is to say, let us come together as one nation and just try to help our compatriots. Because at the end of the day, we are all Zimbabweans. And we've got only one country and that is Zimbabwe. That's all I have. And from here, your office, where to now with these goods? We are making arrangements. Maybe let me hand over to... The man who is responsible for the logistics. I think the tower is at Rakwana. <laughs> Come with me, over to you. From here, we are going to hand over the stuff to to those people that are responsible in ensuring that uh, our goods are delivered to the need. And we do that uh, in a programmatic manner that is allowed by those who are handling that. Let me hasten to say that as a party, we understand the devastation that has happened. Like my vice president has actually posited and uh, speculated, we are a party uh, uh, that is humanitarian in nature, and all these goods that you see are part and parcel of our efforts to try and may ensure that those who are part and parcel of the need are actually gained for. So we we'll do that and. Uh, we had wanted to actually go to Chimanman. What we are there for trying to do is that Chimanman can be far from us, but Chimanman can be closer to us as long as we give to the people who can actually get the goods to where they belong. So we interact and engage with those who are responsible to get to the Presbyterian Church or to Red Cross to ensure that these goods are able to get to the people that... I can chip in uh, comment more and say, maybe my Zengere had a very good discussion, uh, just a very good discussion about an hour ago, and I can assure you that maybe in the next 24 hours or less, these goods will be transported, as Comrade Mao says, to the Presbyterian Church. I understand the uh, logistics that are, put, that are being put in place to transport all these uh, goods to the, the new areas. Yeah. 